Hey guys, welcome back to another lockdown session. We're in week three. Congratulations for making it this far. Um, so today we're going to work on a weighted lower body session. Um, I'm going to be using some 8 kilo dumbbells. You can use a heavy backpack or a kettlebell. For all of these, completely cool. So the work, what we're going to focus on today is reducing the tempo a little bit. And we're actually going to work on some more of the techniques of these lifts. So I'm going to break this up into three sections. And we're going to work on the three we call primal movements of the lower body, which are our bend or our deadlift technique, our squatting technique, and our split stance or lunging technique. So I'm going to do a circuit for each of those in the half an hour. Um, we're going to start with a little warm up. So what we'll do is we'll get our 30 minutes back on the clock. Okay, pause now if you want to put some music on or anything like that. Um, okay, so if we start in three, two, one, go. Okay, little warm up to start. We're just going to do our standing knee hugs. Squeeze your knee into your chest, let it go slowly down. Squeeze your knee into your chest, slowly down. Good, five switch sides. And five, cool. Then we're gonna lay down on our backs. So throughout this circuit, each circuit we're gonna do with each sort of primal movement, hips up and down for me. Each circuit we're gonna do with each primal movement, we're gonna be making it go from difficult to easy. So if you find that the first exercise of the circuit is too hard to do with the weights, just take them away and work on the technique of that movement and then pick them up for the slightly easier of the exercises. Last one of these, good. And then we're just gonna rotate side to side with our knees. Good, okay, then we're gonna slowly come back up again. And I just want you to try and sit into this deep squat position. So feet shoulder width apart, we're going to drive our knees out, sit down nice and low, try and keep your chest up, and we're just going to squeeze your knees out and in. If you find this difficult, just sit in this half squat squat position, out and in just to activate your glutes, but if you can get down there, that's great. A couple more of these, and rest. Okay, so first movement we're going to use is our bending or deadlifting technique. So this is going to focus more on the posterior chain, so hamstrings and glutes. So pick up the weights. First one involves quite a bit of balance, so if you struggle with the balance of this, put down one of the weights and put your hand on a surface to sort of give you some support. So we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So we're pivoting around our hips, letting the weight slowly drop down while the leg goes back and driving up using the back of this left leg, the stance leg. Okay, we're gonna do 10 reps each side. Get ready, three, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled, core switched on, drive up. I don't want you to go all the way down to the weights touch the floor, because that's when your back rounds like so. So I want you to keep your back nice and straight, go about to mid shin. That's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one on this side. Ten. Good job. Switch sides. Right leg's the stance leg. Lift the foot up and go. One. You can touch your foot down at the top of each one. That's completely fine. Two. Nice and controlled. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Have a rest. Pop your weights down. Give yourself 10, 15 seconds. Okay, the next one we're going to do, similar thing, we're working more on one leg than the other, but all you do is you just put your opposite leg, your other leg, just behind, like so. So we're still loading up, but we're going into more of a 
Simple deadlift technique, but you're loading up one side more than the other. So if you struggle with the weights in the first one, you should be able to do them on this one. Same thing, 10 reps. So, right leg, toe is just behind the heel of the left. Stick your butt out, keep your back straight. Drive up, one. Keeping that left shin vertical, allowing the knee to bend, but feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Three. Four. Five. Squeezing the butt of the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Switch legs. Left leg back. Weight in the right heel. Stick your butt out. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Stick those weights down. Catch your breath. Okay, the last one of this circuit we're going to do is just a simple deadlift. So that's feet shoulder width apart. Don't let your knees drop in. So we're not letting our knees do this. We've got to keep them out over our toes. Run the hands down the shin. Stick your butt out. Go to about mid shin, just like you have done with the other exercises. And squeeze at the top. Okay, pick up your weights. Here we go. Three, two, one. Slow and controlled. Drive it up. One. Two, three, four. Try not to reach your neck up at the bottom like this. Try and keep your chin tucked in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Rest there. Good job. Give yourselves a whole minute. We're gonna do all three of those again. Grab some water if you need it. So as I said, always focusing on keeping this lower back with a nice curve in all of those movements. Always keeping this back straight. I don't want to see any rounding of the lower back. Okay, another 20 seconds or so, and then we'll get back into it. Okay, 10 seconds. Pick up your weights. The first one we're doing again is the seesaw, I'm sorry, the single leg deadlift. Down and up, like so. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one. Reach the leg back, draw the chest over the top. Two, three, four, five, nice and controlled. Six, seven, eight. Nine, last one on this side, and 10. Good, 10 seconds. Okay, keep the weights up, other leg. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Have a little rest.
That's great. Okay. When you're ready, we're going to do the one leg behind deadlifts. Weights on the front of the thighs, right leg back, left leg weight on the heel. Go. One, two, three, four. Breathe out as you lift. Five, six, seven. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Ten seconds. Left leg behind. Weights in front. Stick your butt out. Keep your back straight. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Perfect. Drop the weights. Might feel it in your forearms and your wrists a little bit just from holding the weights for so long. Stretch them out if you need. Okay, last one is just your basic deadlift for 10 reps. Okay, lift up the weights. Three, two, and one. Stick your butt out, control, squeeze at the top. Don't overarch at the top, just squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Nice. Give yourselves a minute rest. That was great. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is our lunge pattern. Now, there's lots of different things you can do with a lunge. I'm going to show you sort of from hard to easy the different movements you can do in a lunge. Okay, so I'll take you through them all without the weight first, and then we'll pick up the weight when we're ready to go. Okay, so the hardest lunge you can do, or one of the harder lunges you can do is a front lunge, because you've got to have the explosive power to come back to the center. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the weights down by your side, step forward, keep your chest up, and drive back up to the top. We're gonna do 10 on one leg, 10 on the other leg. Then the next side lunge, so you're gonna drop out, take the weight to either side of the foot, drive back to the center. Again, 10 one, 10 the other, and then we finish with our reverse lunge. We're gonna alternate for 16 reps, so you're just gonna go down and up and switch, down and up. There are three exercises. Pick up the weights, get yourself ready, and I'm gonna go from side on, three, Two, one, chest up, down, drive up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to touch the floor with the knee. Seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, let's go straight into this one. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. And 10. Good. Rest the weights down. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is a side lunge. So as I said, you keep the feet nice and straight. So don't want you turning your foot out. 
When you're onto the side, I want you to keep your foot straight, sit your bum back to let your knee go over the toe, and then drive back up to the middle. Okay, pick up those weights. I'm gonna step into my right, chest up, weights go either side of my foot, drive up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good job. No rest, here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And 10. Good job. Catch your breath. Okay, the last one. The last one we're gonna do is the alternating reverse lunge. 16 reps total. Just gonna power through it. Okay. Pick up the weights, chest up. Here we go, down and up. One, and switch. Two, switch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six more, keep going. One, two, Three, four, five, last one, 16, good job. Okay, give yourselves a minute and we go all of those again. Grab some water. Okay, so we're starting with our front lunges again, then our side lunges, then our reverse lunges. Okay, 20 more seconds and we're in. Okay, pick up those weights, get ready. Four, three, two, and one. Just the right leg. One, straight back down with the right. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, good, ten seconds, five seconds, here we go, two, one, go. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Give yourself a short break. Take the legs out, get them ready. So side lunges next. 10 one way, then 10 the other way. Okay. Feet together, step out, go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, last one, 10, good job, other side, have 10 seconds if you need it, you got the weights, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, good job, ten, perfect, catch your breath, the last one, reverse lunges, alternating sides, 16 total, here we go, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last two, and one. Well done, rest there. Long rest now, one minute. Awesome. Okay, we're nearly there, guys. Just gotta go through our squat pattern. Okay, so the three types of squats we're gonna do. You're gonna do a front squat. So hold both dumbbells, or if you're starting to get tired, switch just holding one dumbbell. Nice deep squat, touch your elbows to your knees. Drive up, that's squat one. Squat two, same thing, if you wanna hold two, that's great, if you wanna just switch to one. Sumo squat, we're gonna hold them down here. That's exercise two. Exercise three, we're gonna use the dumbbells to raise our heels, use no weight, and do heel raise squats, really pump the quads. Okay, pick up your weights, that's our minutes rest. 10 reps, elbows to knees, slowly down, touch, and up, that's one, good job. Two, three, knees go out, four, back stay straight, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one. Ten, good job. Okay, catch your breath. So as I said, sumo squats next. I'm gonna hold the weights down here. If you need to swap to one weight, that's fine. Ten reps. Weights together. Toes turned out, knees gonna push out like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, good job, place the weights down on the floor, they've got a gap between them, so your feet can go shoulder width, I'm going to turn this side on actually so you can see my back, Okay, heels on the weight, on the dumbbells. Keeping our weight back in our heels, allowing our knees to go forward and out. We're gonna keep the back as vertical as we can. 10 reps, gonna go nice and low. One. Two. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and ten. Rest there, well done, take a minute.
Grey wasn't the best colour to wear, starting to sweat through my top. Shows I'm working. Thirty seconds more rest, then we've got one final round of those squats. So always trying not to let your butt wink at the bottom of the squat, try and keep your butt forced out. Keep that extension in the lower back. Okay, get ready, we've got 10 seconds. Weights up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more of these. Nine. Last one. Control. Ten. Have a little bit longer rest this time. I know it's getting tough. So we've got sumo squats and then heel raise squats to go. Okay, sumos. You can hold these up in goblet as well, like this if you want. Or you can hold them down here. Pull my trousers up this time. Okay, sumo squats, here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, 10, good job. Give yourselves 30 seconds. We got our last one of these leg circuits, exercises. Job, 10 more seconds. Nice and controlled. Here we go. Slow. And up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Chest up. Eight. Nine. Last one. And 10. Good job, guys. Okay, get rid of the weights. And do a little two minute finish here in 30 seconds time. Okay, lay on your backs when you're ready. Okay, first exercise we're gonna do 40 seconds, hips up, step out, and out, okay? Going in three, two, one, go. Good, keep it moving. Out, in, out, in. Try not to shift your hips from side to side to do this. Try and keep them solid using your core and your glutes. Good job, you're halfway. Keep working. Hips up, hips up. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Rest down, good job. Okay, next 40 seconds, we're gonna lift up and just go in and out with the knees like this for 40 seconds. In three, two, one, up. In and out, in and out. Two. Good, just keep that moving the whole time. Good job. This one's gonna burn, but keep moving. 
If you find it hard to move, just stay still, but it's better if you move. 20 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. Good job. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. All right. Let's just stretch out our hip flexors to finish it. No quads. Just going to go here. You're just going to push your hips forward and then tilt them under. You should feel it all the way down your quad. Hold that stretch. Good job. Smashed it again, guys. Another 30 minutes done. See from my top. Pretty sweaty too. Switch sides. Okay. That's it. Another one bites the dust. See you next time. Cheers.